In 2021, Apple killed the touch bar. And here's why. As much as the touch bar was a cool idea, it felt more like a gimmick than anything else. First of all, the touch bar was targeted to be used by power users and people who value productivity since it was built into the more expensive pro versions of MacBooks. And while certain functionality was cool, like being able to adjust the volume, sadly, there wasn't a lot of third-party app support for the touch bar and people had difficulty remembering what's being displayed on the touch bar at any given time. With traditional F keys, they obviously don't change position, so it's easy to know where each key is without looking. But a touch bar could be displaying a volume knob or keys or shortcuts, which is probably why 